Hi guys, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be exploring this tool here called OpenStreetMap, which is basically a very useful tool that allows you to create collaborative data so that anybody can access and edit it. Um, so let's start off by opening up OpenStreetMap. And then the first thing we want to do is log in, or um, in this case, it might be prompting you to create an account. So I'm going to log in um, so that I have access to all the data and I can start editing. So now that we can see that I am logged in here in the top corner, we're going to hit this button. Uh, we can search where we want to go to. Um, in this case, I'm going to stick to uh, Thomastown because I'm doing a project there. So I want to get as much data as I can. May as well add some more data whilst I'm at it. Okay, so first thing we want to hit here is edit. And now we can see that we've been taken into a slightly different looking window um, showing the map of the area. Um, and we can see that we have all of these points of data that have already been referenced and added in. So we can see here that we've got a, a, an oval. Basically, um, water tap is here, uh, running track is here, or, or sorry, stream is here. Um, and then we see this toolbar here at the top, um, which basically has these three tools. So the first tool here is point, uh, which is most commonly used for marking down your things like your landmarks. Um, and then we also have line. So this is mainly used for your things such as roads and footpaths. And then we have our third tool here, which is area. So this could be used um, basically to map out your boundaries of um, certain areas. Now from here, uh, what we can do is then start to add in some data. So let's zoom in and let's, let's add, add, a, add a house in. Okay, uh, this house here looks like it's needing some data added to it. Okay, now I'm quite familiar with this area already. So um, it's pretty simple for me to be able to add in some data. So let's add in some data for this house here. So the first thing we're going to do is grab an area. Uh, these also have shortcuts. So just by hitting the one, we can see that we're taken to the, the point tool. The two takes us to the line and three takes us to the area tool. And now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, map out this house boundary. So we'll just start off by doing this. Ta-da, perfect. And to close our shape, otherwise we can keep shaping, we just hit back to the start. And there we go, we've added in some data and we can just move that if we're not happy with it. Um, move these points to be more accurate. So we'll add this to here. And just by um, hitting, uh, right clicking, we also have the ability to uh, see this little toolbar that comes up. And with this, we can create a whole shape. So for example, let's just try this out. Uh, we can flip it or uh, rotate or move, copy or delete. But in this case, say we wanted a square shape, we can quite simply square out our shape just by hitting square and it makes all of these dimensions nice and even and squared up for us. From then onwards, we can start to add some data into our shape. So in this case here, we know that we've just created what we would say is a house. Um, now we can give it a name. So in this case, I'm going to call it a single story dwelling because that's the most common name for it. Um, now I know that this building here is only one story as I'm quite familiar with the area. I don't know the height, so I'm not going to put that data in. Now, if you're unsure uh, with the data of the area, um, what you should do is um, just go to Google Earth or Google Street Maps and check out um, the height of the building to make sure that it is only one level. 
And from there onwards, we can also add in some more data. So I know that this house here is 40A. I know that it is uh, Montview Road and it's great that OpenStreetMap prompts this for you. So it means that you can plug in your data super, super quickly. And there we go. You don't even have to worry about remembering the postcode. And there, that's some data added in. We've just added in that house. Um, and once we're happy with that, uh, we also have the ability to edit other people's data. So somebody else has already added in this road, but let's say that they've put it in the wrong spot. We can move it, uh, but let's not do that. We don't need to do that. So we'll just control Z that. And then once we are finished, we can go at the top here and click this save button or control S if you want to use the shortcut. And from then onwards, we can save our work and we can write what we've added and what we've contributed to the map. So in this case, I would just say add dwelling. Um, if we're feeling a little bit unsure about the work that we have done, we can just uh, select this button here, uh, which will prompt somebody to overview and overlook the work and your edits that you've made. I'm feeling quite confident in the work I've done, so we won't be selecting that today. And from then we just click upload and it will edit our changes and upload that to OpenStreetMap for everybody to be able to access and use. There we go, we can see our data's been added in. We've got a little house added, how cute. And from then onwards, uh, we can export the data out and then use that data um, to create maps or extract certain points of the data um, so that we can better understand the urban context and accessibility or surrounds of an area. Um, and then we just hit export and now I've got that data downloading into my computer. That's basically how OpenStreetMap works. It's a great tool um, and it's a great platform to be able to collaborate on um, and yeah, that concludes today's video. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in my next video.